We had some corn that receives too much rain and a lot of the lower ends of the fields actually drowned it out the corn. Uh, conversely, the upper ends that drained well had plenty of moisture and uh, did well. So what we're seeing is extremely high yields on the upper end of the field and extremely low ends on the bottom end of the field. And we're having, you know, decent average crop in the middle. John Malazzo farms in the Brazos River bottom and says that even though cotton is planted later than corn, it followed the same storyline. Again, we had so much rain earlier that the bottom ends of the field stunted the cotton so bad. You know, a lot of it didn't get over a foot tall. Uh, really limited the potential on those bottom ends of the fields. And the upper ends of the field that drained well, uh, and they, we were able to get in and fertilize for a, there was a short dry period in there where we were able to get that done. And the upper ends did outstanding, I think. So again, you take outstanding parts of the field along with terrible parts of the field, and we wound up average. Both the cotton and corn markets were flat throughout the year. The market's been, just like our crop, it's been really average. And uh, uh, this is probably one of those years, even though we wound up with an average crop, we still feel like we're lucky to get out of this year with, without any more uh, uh, difficulty than we had. And like every year, farmers take what Mother Nature and the markets give them. I'm Shell Winkley, looking at Central Texas agriculture from the ground up. From the Ground Up is brought to you by Producers Cooperative, proudly serving agriculture since 1943.